Hey guys, this is KJ48. Welcome back to my Diablo 3 Let's Play. This is part 8. And I haven't played this game in a few, like almost a week, because I was just making videos and stuff, rendering them. And I'm going to re uh, reacquaint myself with the guy with the, uh, the wizard editor. Um, apparently I'm using diamond skin, which transforms my skin into diamond, absorbing 239 damage from incoming attacks. It's basically like a ward, so I'm kind of like invincible for up to 239 damage for 6 seconds. I've got wa Wave of Force, which discharge a wave of pure en energy that repels projectiles and knocks back nearby enemies. This also slows the movement of enemies by 60% and deals 200 weapon damage as physical. Then I have my basic attacks, which is Magic Missile, which does uh, 110 weapon damage. Also increases the... Oh, the rune increases the damage to 143%. The reason I'm using this over... I cannot follow you if we just stand around. Alright, alright. Take it easy there, Templar. Alright, I like Magic Missile, but the fact of the matter is I like... Uh, Ray of Frost even more. But the problem is Ray of Frost takes a lot of Arcane Power, and Magic Missile takes no Arcane Power. And I'm used to using Arcane Orb to do massive AoE damage before a fight. So honestly... <sighs> I just don't, I can't. I don't have the the mana for the Ray of Frost. Uh, does do numb, increases the amount of targets' moving speed. It, there, the Ray of Frost rune increases the amount of the target's movement is slowed to 60% for three seconds. So that makes them even slower. Um, it seems like Ray of Frost would be better for bosses, I guess, because I don't really need the AOEs. Of course, you don't usually fight bosses without other monsters around, so. I'm gonna have to stay with Magic Missile for now, but oh god, Ray of Frost is just so cool. Okay, so let's see where we are in our quest. We need to talk to the stranger in the desolate chamber. There is a man in the Fallen Star's crater, surrounded by a nimbus of unfamiliar magic. Quite strange. That's right, the last thing I did was beat the Skeleton King. I'm so far on this with my Barbarian. My Barbarian's like level 23 and in Act 2. Finally, the Crater. There we go, the Crater. I know who this is. I... Th I'm not going to give spoilers until it is revealed. But this guy is a fallen star, fell from the sky, and came down. And I, I have a theory that he is Diablo. Uh, the Devil. The Devil's... I thought the devil's referred to as a fallen star, because he's like a fallen angel. So, that's what I'm thinking. This stranger is the devil. And as we go on in the game, you'll see if I'm right or not. We'll feast at the inn when this is that. all over, my friend. It was you that fell from the sky. I don't believe that you are the source of the evil in this place. I am. I... I was. I... I remember falling. Then who are you? Why are you here? I am not your enemy. I think. Yes, I... I believe I have come with a warning. The darkness. The darkness is coming. I must... I don't remember. I should bring you back to town. Cain will know what to do with you. Alright, I do want to lower the voice volume just a tad. Maybe to 40. Okay. Let's go to town, see Kane. Good old Decker Kane. Before we do that though, we're gonna look at some gear. We've um spent a lot of time on my I've spent a lot of time oh, cutscene. I have traveled far, only to find that the fallen star was a man. Who is he? Why has he come? He recalls nothing. But Cain may have the answers. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. Alright. Like I said, I've been playing my Barbarian a lot, and I've got a lot of gear. I've expanded my stash, all the spots on my stash, and the next expansion. Each one of these spots cost 10,000 gold, and the next one costs 100,000 gold. And I'm almost halfway there. Alright, uh, yeah, these dropped. Let me 
identify these really quick. Actually, you know what? I should probably be doing this off of fraps. All right, I'm going to pause this and come back when I'm done. I will not show you or deal with inventory management on video. It's just too laborious, and it takes a long time, and it's boring. What I will do is show you the gear. When I've gone through all the gear and I've decided what I want to use, I will show you what I'm going to use and then put it on and explain to you why I'm using it and what it's good for. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Okay, I've decided what I'm going to do here. First thing I'm going to do is show you some of the things I have in my stash. I'm just going to mouse over these. If you care, you can pause the game and you know check them out. If you look in the bottom part of it, it tells me what it would, what it does if I could use it. That would give me plus 15 damage. <clears throat> that would give me plus 11 damage. That one's also got a socket in it. I will explain to you what sockets are in a minute. This demon hunter stuff. That's just a crossbow. Some nice pants. Uh, shoulders. Demon Hunter, nice bracers, witch doctor item, and a couple of weapons. Another socketed weapon. That's a socketed two-handed hammer with 40 dexterity. That's insane. Um, then I also got a mirror here, which is uh, for followers. Level 18. Uh, got some rings down here. Another follower book. There's a ring with a socket in it. And you also gems are in the game. I didn't I didn't know they would be in the game. These are what you put in the sockets of weapons, helmets, or other. And you see right there, it tells you what you get for them. Uh, oh, I, could, I should take that. Put this up here. All right. Now this is the stuff I'm going to be using. This dropped just now. That's an offhand weapon, which means I need to use a one-handed weapon with it. So I'll use it, but not right now. I'm going to use it, actually I should probably switch these out, look at this, this gives me plus 10 damage and plus 1.4 protection, so we'll switch those out, we will sell this crossbow, we will, oh, rare fist or monk only, okay, now let's see what we can put on, this we'll put on, but we'll put this on again when I get a one handed weapon that I want to use. Uh, we got a helmet here, which is wizard only, plus 7 vitality, and critical hits grant plus 2 arcane power. And then we have another one here, which is just plus 11 intelligence. I'm going to go with the 11 intelligence. That means I can sell this. These are nice staffs that I'll be able to use later. Uh, that's another offhand item. 3 to 5 damage. Uh, I'll have to look at those later, really study them. Oh, that's definitely an upgrade right there. Plus 2 damage, plus 1.2 protection. Now, that's a nice helmet, but that gives me plus 11 strength. I'd rather have the intelligence. Uh, I will hold on to that, though. Actually, this should go back in the stash. That can get sold. And the rest of this... Actually, this go back in the stash. I won't be using it. Actually, if I'm not going to use this with this wizard, then I won't use it at all, so I might as well sell it. So hold on to these sell this that's an amulet we need two ring two rings some a low level I don't want level 16 rings nah, screw it I'm not even gonna bother carrying around level 16 rings that's a good seven levels away from where I am all right let's sell I've done a right good bunch of things for you this fine day see it's a lot more efficient for oh why did I put this up here Oh, magic. Wait, what? I have two of them. No, I don't have two of them. This one's better. This one's got plus 11 and plus 12 intelligence, and this one has the glo uh, health globe grants 30 life. So the intelligence is obviously better. Alright, let's repair. Alright. Let's move along. This is what fell out of the sky. No man could survive such a thing. Who are you? What are you? A warrior, I think. I came bearing grave news. But I cannot remember. Your message might be all that can save us from impending doom. Naturally. Tell me everything you remember, stranger. Every detail. 
falling. Fire. A sword of great power. It was part of me. But it shattered into three pieces as I fell. It is vital that we find those pieces. I believe the sword made whole will restore your memory. The Goatmen are rampaging through the fields. Could the sword have anything to do with that? Of course, of course! Just as the dead rose around the stranger, the sword pieces drove the Goatmen to madness. The Goatmen won't stand in my way. I'll get the sword. I'll tell you right now, no Goatmen are going to stand in Editor's way. I will get the sword, Goatmen or not. Look at my damage with this thing. It just looks weirder for a wizard running around with a big freaking sword like that. If there's a sword here, we will find it. Word. Arcane power. So basically, I have magic missile, which is my my basic spell that I use all the time, and then arcane orb. I usually start arcane orb for its AOE damage, because it does a lot of AOE damage, and then I run in and start magic missiling everything. I want to. I want to get people to play this with me. If anyone's watching this video and has this game, for the love of God, play with me. I want people to talk to. I do have a friend playing. He's in like Act 4 though, so. I need people to play with me. Like, so I, like it's a lot easier to make, make videos with someone to play with. Goatmen! Die, Goatmen! I just think that's so funny. I mean, Goatmen. Wow. Stay away from those things because they poison you. <laughs> I have heard the most ridiculous tales about travelers being ambushed by vicious trees. <laughs> it, it is too much. Despite their names, the wood wraiths are not plants, but fully mobile beasts who have taken on the guise of foliage to ensnare their prey. Only a simpleton could be fooled by such a trick. I don't have enough arcane power. Those trees are freaky as hell. Poison's a big deal in this game too. If you see something that's poisoning you, you need to like stay away from how it does it. It's nice that the falling logs and traps don't hurt me, but it does hurt them. It's quite convenient. What the hell are trees gonna do? They're all slow and shit. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna mention this again and repeatedly. If anyone has this game and would like to play with me around my level, 
the level of this character, uh, let me know. Because I would love to have people to... And I want you to get on Team Speed as well. Speaking of playing with other people, let's open this up. Even though I won't be able to talk to them. If they come in, the monsters get stronger and I end up getting more experience. home, huh? Bitch is getting owned. So yeah, this game's awesome as hell. I love it. I like all the classes I've played so far. I've started one of every class. Simple I like. folk have made their lives and homes here. They will not survive this disaster unless we aid them. Oh, I can't get in. Excuse me. Um, anyway, I got one of each class, although the, w the only ones I'm really playing is this one, the Barbarian. Um, I do have a Witch Doctor, but I, m I mainly play my Barbarian. He's level 23, like I said before. And uh, he's really fun. He's really vicious. And this guy's, this guy's fun. They're all fun. <laughs> Gotta chase this guy around with gold. If you kill him, he drops an item. I'll just wait for him to stop. There he goes. See? Ooh, two items. And lots of gold. Gold is so important in this game, it's ridiculous how much gold means. Gold went from Diablo 2 to meaning absolutely nothing to just being like so important and you'll see why as the game goes on. I'm not going to spoil why later. You'll see later. Let's see what he dropped. Meh. I'll take white gear. It's crap. Hey, somebody join me. Oh, it's my buddy. Oh, no, he didn't join. Never mind. He got an achievement. I thought he joined. The large sluggish beasts can thrive in any grassland or forest, provided there is enough water. Farmers will recognize these brutes as the savage cousins of the common cat. A tame breed that was likely domesticated nearly 2,000 years ago. <laughs> One can hardly imagine the trouble that effort must have taken. I know what that guy's talking about. Tell him STFU. Search for the whatever That's a den. Blow. The piece there of the sword I'm looking for must be in this cave. You're right. Oh, I haven't used my new ability yet. Oh, watch it. Coming through. Still waiting. Still don't really see what that did. 
Oh, see, the way he makes the hand, I thought that it would be a wave, like, pointing in the direction, but apparently it's like a uh, circle around me coming out. Jesus. Well, 200 weapon damage, I guess that is a lot. Alright, guys. That is my timer, so that's going to be it for part 8, and we'll see you next time for part 9. Until then, take it easy.